Hey guys, Angel here today, and guess what? We did some buys. So and the third buy was the most interesting buy, because, you know, this is like, all right, 40%, more nickels. I mean, this is all right. And then some Merc Dimes that just go in the bowl. And then these ones are beyond the bowl. So this section over here is the interesting section. Like, this is just run-of-the-mill stuff comes in all the time. This one, at least it has a variety of stuff. Here's some tokens. Good luck will accompany the bearer. And it's got, like, some kind of, like, Nazi sign or something. The all-seeing eye. There's a token. Here's another token. You, this one looks environmentally damaged. Just got the green. What is it? Looks like it says Grand Rapids. Foster and Park Grand Rapids. And then it's got this, like, key thing on the back. So that's kind of cool. And then here's something. <laughs> it says Cheerio. And it's got, like, I don't know if this, what is that? I don't know, man. I guess it's like a cow. The cow goes, moo. I don't know. It's like a cow. Everybody, we need more cowbell. Everybody needs more cowbell. So it's the A&P Carnival. Chicago World's Fair. So it's like it's from the Chicago World's Fair. And it looks like 1932. Then we got some errors. We got off-centered. Off off-centered scent. Off-centered scent. Yeah, that one looks that one looks great. I don't know if that's on the flip or whatever. We got this one. This one's kind of cool. I think it, like, right here, man, it's the high leaf. It's not in perfect shape or anything. But if you look at the red book, you can see there's no leaf. And then there's a high leaf where there's an extra leaf piece there. And then there's a low leaf. And I think this one is the middle one. Yeah, see? There's the, there's that leaf part. So it's the high leaf. It's a high leaf. It's not in great condition, but hey, it's an error. We got two silver bars, Great Lakes Mint, and some Harrius. Harrius. So this one's kind of cool. It's vintage. It's vintage, just like me. So we got a vintage bar. This stuff's just like run of the mill, 90% that you throw in our bowl. Then we got some run-of-the-mill Mercury Dimes. So, yeah, these ones are probably all, like, bowl material. Peace Dollar! We got a Peace Dollar. It's 1923S. Where's it? There's the mint mark right there, right above the tail feather. Got a 23 Buffalo. You can barely make out, or 28 Buffalo. You can barely make out the date. Whoops. Here's another one. Looks like 1919. I don't know. And it looks like it might have a mint mark. The mint mark's right there. That's kind of hard to see. And then I get a 37, which is in pretty decent shape. Yeah, it looks like it's got the full horn going on there. Yeah, it's full horn. There's another barely legible date. I don't even know. And then we got the 1883, and you always check on the back to see if it's scent. So this one's the no scent. It doesn't have scents. We got some pretty. Ooh, we'll say that one. We got some pretty mercury dimes that still have some luster. As you can tell, they knew they were better ones because they put them in these these, uh, like, 50 cent dollar plastic cases. But, come on. But this one caught my eye. woo -hoo! That one's pretty. 19, is that the 1916? 
It looks like it has all the liberty and it has almost it has almost uh, some original mint luster. You know, it's a little dirty, but it's still got some luster. So, yeah, that one's a good one. Still got some mint luster and it's a 16. And I don't see a mint mark. The mint mark's supposed to be down here. You can get your what's up? What's next? We got this two cent. You can get your two cents worth. It's in 1964 and it looks pretty good. Like you can see, in God we trust. Yep, you can see all the words, because usually like the middle one wears off. Look at the back. Pretty good shape. Now you can barely make out any of it. That's where it wears off along that banner on the top. So this one is not that great. And then we got the three cent nickel. It says reverse die crack cud. So let's look at the back. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Maybe it's like right here. Maybe there's a dyke crack in some in some cud or crud or whatever. We got one of my favorites, but this one has seen better days. 1852. You can see it's a little bit beat up. The back don't look so bad. It's not so bad. But, see, there's some cut marks there. All right, let's see what we have next. A seeded. It's a half a dime. See, look, it says it's half a dime. So, half a dime. What's this? Ooh, this is a really, really dark barber dime. Yeah, that one's seen better days. But it looks like a it looks like it has a mint mark. Is that a mint mark? Yep. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Alright. See if we can make out the year. 1892. Got another dark barber. It's at 1904. I mean, it still it looks like it has a full liberty. You know, I'd have to pull out the loop, but I can see some letters there. Ooh, and it's got some blue tone on the back. Ooh, ah, oh. Yeah, it's got some tonage. So it probably looks really pretty out of here. I don't know. Yeah, it's got some tonage. That back looks super nice. And then there's just like uh, run of the mill, but look, it looks like it's got some kind of mint error. I don't know what they call that cud or something. Like super cud. It's a S. It's a 1905 S. But yeah, he's got a whole lot of blobness coming down on his head, so that's probably an error. And then here's just some run of the mill. Yeah, this one, this one looks like it went in a blender. It's kind of, that's a shame. Because it's a seeded quarter. But yeah, that one got grinded, grinded up somehow. Man, this one, this one's the best one, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. 27. The mint mark's supposed to be over here somewhere. I don't know if you can make it out. Like right above my nail. That's where the mint mark goes. Here's a 29. Yeah, and there's the mint mark. You can see the mint mark way better on this one. I believe it's a S. Ooh, and then we got a pretty one. I mean, it's just a 1964, but... Check out that color. Look at that tonage. 
Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then what's this? Oh, these are just some um, average circ. They'll be popped out. They'll probably be popped out and like throw it in a bowl. I mean, that one. If it's not damaged, that one looks like it has a full liberty, so that might be a good one. But yeah, uh, there's a. I guess they call it a woody. It's a woody, but it's not that greatest shape. Then we got some foreign, some foreign silver. Like, I think it's like German. Yeah, it's got mark. It's like five marks. So we got some like, I think it's German. Some German silver. So, all right, guys, I think that about does it. So this was a this was a cool buy. It had a little bit of everything, you know. This is just normal run of the mill stuff. Whatever you throw it in a bowl. So let me know, let me know what you think about this. You know, say something in the comments right down there below. And if you'd like to give us a like, a likey likey, that would be appreciated. And hopefully, like I learned you some stuff. So hopefully I brought you some angels learning and education on a few of the items. So it's pretty cool. So yeah. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Until next time. Bye.